So my name is Jenny Franco, and I work with the Transnational Institute, uh, which is based in Amsterdam. Well, the, the organization uh, works on a lot of different kinds of injustices, but I work with the Agrarian Justice Program. Uh, and so we look at uh, basically land issues uh, in general, and at the moment we're looking at the issues of land and water grabbing. Well, that's a big question. Um, you can start with uh, um, uh, sort of on a people level, people who, who accumulate uh, land-based wealth and power and then use that. Uh, they do this on the, on the, the backs of other people or in it, at the expense of other people. Um, and they use this to reinforce that position and accumulate more. Um, and to, in terms of power, they, uh, this uh, enables them to exclude um, ordinary people from the kinds of decisions that they need to be um, participating in um, that affect their lives. Uh, in my organization um, and my program in particular, we try to provide alternative political analysis of the situation, uh, particularly at this moment around land and water grabbing. Um, and our main goal is uh, actually not to directly influence policy processes, but actually to try to uh, provide the analysis that social movement organizations, particularly peasant movement organizations, need in order to then try to influence policy and politics. Part of the difficulty, and this isn't the entire difficulty, but part of the difficulty has to do with people's understanding and uh, imagination, I think, of um, understanding of the, the current structures and uh, processes that uh, reinforce this, these kinds of injustices, but also a kind of uh, uh, restricted imagination about what's possible. One of the first things that needs to change is people's awareness and understanding and, and imagination about what's possible. Um, a lot of times, uh, let's say the, 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 the ones in power who are um, in a lot of ways dominating the discourse around land and water grabbing um, are very, uh, are able to really influence the, you know, our capacity to imagine um, how change is possible and what kind of changes are possible. Um, and so that's why we feel that it's very strategic actually to try to provide these alternatives. But, um, you know, imagination and understanding is, is, a, is a difficult thing when you're when you're not in positions of power and everybody's telling you that it's not possible to change things. I'd say in the medium term, a just future would uh, at least um, make space for real alternatives. Uh, in fact, there are already a lot of alternative um, development uh, happening um, at the ground level that we often don't hear about because information is uh, so restricted. Um, we need to be able to expand on those and help to promote and make sure that they exist into the future. Um, and so in the medium term, uh, it's a question of trying to make space for um, uh, those to be accepted as legitimate um, and eventually expand them even further so that we have in place um, uh, systems of uh, farming, for example, that um, you know don't uh, create ecological harm, that um, distribute wealth more evenly, um, and uh, give people, including consumers, real choices about what they eat and uh, where it comes from and how it's produced. <laughs>